I'm Dr. Roger and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular Laplace transforms with a delta function. This is a unit impulse function, the direct delta function. And I'm going to use the notation that the transform of lowercase y equals uppercase y because that's easier to write. So the transform of y del prime is s squared uppercase y minus s times 0 minus 0 and then plus 4 times the transform of y. The transform of the delta function at t minus c according to my table, line 17, is e to the negative cs. So this is e to the negative pi s minus e to the negative 2 pi s. So what I have here can be described as an undamped harmonic oscillator initially in equilibrium at rest with two external forces, a unit impulse in the positive direction at time pi, and then another unit impulse in the negative direction at time 2 pi. And those times will be relevant once we find the natural period of this harmonic oscillator, which you can also find from the characteristic polynomial. So I have s squared plus 4 uppercase y equals e to negative pi s minus e to negative 2 pi s and I notice that this is my characteristic polynomial. So uppercase y, the transform of the solution is e to the negative pi s times 1 over s squared plus 4 minus e to the negative 2 pi s times 1 over s squared plus 4. Looking at my table, I recognize that e to the minus cs times a function puts me in line 13 if the e to the minus cs is multiplied by the transform of my solution and 1 over s squared plus 4 looks like line 5, which should be a over s squared plus a squared, which means I prefer to have a numerator of 2. So I'm going to make that numerator a 2 and put a 1 half out front and the same for the second one. I found it much easier to make my transform the solution exactly match the lines in the table so I don't mess up my coefficients. Now looking at lines 5 and 13, and I'll often write down what lines I'm using just so I can catch any errors later. The inverse transform, my actual solution y, is 1 half u pi of t sometimes written as u of t minus pi, and then sine of t minus c becomes sine t minus pi. And then minus one half for this one, I get u two pi of t sine, I left out the two, sine of two t minus pi, and sine of two t minus 2 pi. And that would be my solution. And if I graph it, t, y, pi, 2 pi, and call this 1 and negative 1, my solution is 0 until time pi, which makes sense because I have an undamped harmonic oscillator that is initially in equilibrium at rest, so it will stay there until acted on by an outside force. Sounds like something Newton would say. And then I get one half, and this is a unit step function times the sine of 2 t minus pi, so I'm translating the sine to the right by t, and the period of this sine is pi. So I get a full cycle with amplitude one half, more or less, within artistic license. And then I subtract, and my sine has been shifted to the right a full period. I get a full period by time 2 pi, and at this point I have a unit impulse in the downward direction, and when I add 
this sign is shifted to the right by two full periods, one half of the first sign minus one half of the second, they will cancel, and I go back to equilibrium at rest. You'll notice this is pretty much the only, only way to solve a differential equation with a delta function, a unit impulse function, although you could approximate the delta function with a very narrow, tall, discontinuous or piecewise function, and those can be solved using a few steps with um, undetermined coefficients. Come back soon for my next video with differential equations, there's always more.